Tacos on the line tonight. Lakers hold the Cavs under 100. A win also. And if they do that, they're going to score two free tacos with a drink purchase from Jack in the Box. The 13-4 Lake Show Run. We're in Cleveland tonight. Home on Wednesday. Good win. Just threw right past. A.B. scores and won. Here with Denver. A couple of years in Atlanta. This is his first year with Cleveland. And a lot of guys putting in his dues. Not getting a good opportunity here. Especially with Rajon Hurt at the moment. Westbrook holding on to it. They are daring to shoot. He said, thank you very much. I'll take it. Uh, played by Goodwin. Jetty Osman will hold on to it. Puts the pass now to Mobley. Mobley, great defender. Here he is pulling up for 15 and scoring. Yeah, he was being guarded. LeBron James. Locally, St. Vincent, St. Mary High. LeBron goes through the lane. Beautiful. Just drifting left as he kind of won more than anything. Down the middle. LeBron bumps into him. Charging. Oh, no. Count it. Yeah, they're going to say prop. LeBron makes it a two-point game with steel. Finished the highest in 77% with Miami about a decade or so ago. Osman's in the corner. Lakers a little slow. Rotating over. Well, they need the mid-court, and that's when they didn't get any success out of that. That's what opened it up. Russ spins and scores with the left hand. Only three. After being down by 14. DJ Augustine's got enough of a rest. He's coming back to see if he still got the hot hand. And Osman does a Westbrook. Spins just like... It would be a little bit more advanced. He's kind of regressed a bit. LeBron. By the way, Osman, one of the five internationals could even tie on this possession, but James has other ideas. He wants to go right to the rim. How many years did he... DJ Augustine's got a much taller Osman in front of him. Now isolated is Carmelo. Made a living out of this kind of play right here. Turn around at the base, just like that. He's just a, a scoring machine when he gets the ball at that position on the floor. And the Lakers get the lead. Carmelo at 24 with the win in October. And that was when uh, it was still known as Staples Center. Of course, it'll be at Crypto.com Arena on Wednesday. 13-5 run. A little more LeBron talk in Mike Trudell. Well, Billy, you've just been mentioning that LeBron's been uh, having somewhat of a layup line this quarter. And, of course, without Jared Allen, uh, that's something J.B. Bickerstaff talked about before the game. And it's important a lot of times for them to have two bigs, whether it's Mobley or Allen, because somebody Stu is going to get pulled out to the perimeter. Somebody else has to be there on the backside. And, of course, the Lakers have had that issue without Anthony Davis exactly. on the floor this year. You're so right, Mike. Still hope that Anthony will be back soon. Marketing for a long shot, long rebound up in the air. Well timed by Stevens, and Garland takes advantage to drain from straight away. That was a nice offensive rebound though by Stevens. Garland had a career high 41 on March the 8th against Indy. Carmelo, yes, right back. We'll see Wenyan Gabriel in at the next whistle. From downtown, the Lakers have hit five, Cleveland has hit seven. the highest percentage of points off of threes that this Cleveland franchise has had in the last few years. Garland can it! He's looking to get a three the old-fashioned way. Now we talked about how he has improved. His confidence is off the charts. I mean, he just plays with the swagger. He knows that he can get things done off the dribble. He gets another foul call on Avery Bradley. He's back to the free throw line possible three-point play you know Stu and, and, and you know this when he was playing with Colin Sexton who was out for the year with the torn meniscus uh, Garland was the second fiddle I mean they, they formed a very nice dynamic young backcourt but Sexton was the guy yeah well, when Sexton went down Garland became yeah, the guy yeah and, and uh, I'm not sure everybody thought he had it in him to do that he obviously did and he's proved it his dad Winston played seven years in the NBA, so it's in the genes. Darius Garland. LeBron, Wendell Gabriel off of his hand as he couldn't collect it. 
LeBron is just kind of saying, be ready. Be ready. That's the key. I mean, you always should expect a pass from LeBron. Always, no matter where you are, because he'll see you even when you don't think you're open. Believe it. Last time they were in the playoff, 2017-18, that's when they lost to the finals. And the Warriors in Cleveland were four straight against each other. Garland, shot puts it up. Gabriel had a hand on it. They're going to shoot it again. And LeBron's got the rebound. LeBron, four rebounds, four assists, 15 points. We know he's going to go big here in Cleveland on his way back. Here's LeBron again, put it up and in. That's a nice little delivery that time by Stanley. 11 seasons in a Cavs uniform. Good, offensive foul. Foul. Good, good anticipation by DJ Augustine. He just anticipated the offensive player coming back baseline. As we get another look at LeBron and Stanley with their two-man game. Easy deuce for LeBron for his 17th point of the half. LeBron who holds just about every record imaginable with this Cleveland franchise. A couple that he doesn't blocks. Ilgalskis, whose jersey is hanging in the rafters. That's a one that he doesn't. Not many, though. Garland on the attack. Marking it wide open. Lined it up and scored it. Lowry, 35% around the year. Field goal shooting overall is way down from last year, though.